In VPUML, you can trace between the requirements and the component or classes which visualizing the components using the matrix diagram or the analysis diagram. And then let me show you how it works. First, we create a requirement to simulate the case, for example, which is a process order. And suppose this uh, requirement is visualized by a sub diagram class diagram, sorry that the menu is out of the screen like this, uh, I've got a class diagram, now I've got a very simple, just uh, one class in here so how can we trace between them and you can right click on the class, on the on the relationship and then see related elements and then analysis now we've got a dialog to ask you to specify how the analysis diagram will be created. You can see there's uh, quite lots of uh, options. Uh, for example, create based on the transistor, the reference, parent and child, etc. And we just use the default ones and press OK. Now you got the diagram, the analysis diagram created. You can, and you can see the process order, the requirement is in the middle. It's like a starship diagram. And you can see you got a class, the mod, a class, which is an order controller. They are related to the process order requirement and the wheel, the process order, which is the wheel, the shape of the process order, the underlying requirement, and also the diagram. Now, for example, we go to the go back to the class and we add a few more class some of the order and a customer now you go back to the analysis diagram right click on the process order analysis and s select all so you will see and the new sh the new models which are related to the process order will be added to the diagram so uh, every time when you when things are changed you can go back to the analysis diagram to update update the diagram and see what will be affected and this is the first way you trace between the requirement and the elements which realizing it. And the second one is using the matrix diagram. So we create a, the impact and the matrix and our matrix diagram in here. And uh, we select the requirement. For example, we select the class as the row, the requirement as the column. And uh, because we realized the requirement using the sub diagram, so we select the sub diagram in the combo box, and you can see there are quite lots of options for you to specify how the matrix diagram will be created. So keep using the form, the sub diagram, and then press OK. And now you will see there's a requirement process order, and you got the free class which is related realizing this requirement. Now we go to the requirement diagram, suppose we add, s add a new requirement. Generate report like this and this is n not attached any with any sub diagram for visualizing it. We go back to matrix and we select the all combo box, press the refresh. Now you will see the generate report requirement showing and it is not realized by any class. So uh, you, you will see this requirement is could be not yet complete or maybe some problem is found in your in your development process. So basically you can trace the requirement. In this trace between the requirement and the mo and the way realizing the elements in this way using the matrix diagram or using the analysis diagram.